Y'all, I'm trying to do all this before everybody come over for Sunday dinner. I think I'm ready. Hey, how goes it? It's me, the real Aja P. So I've been trying to put up a video for like three days now and my mom had came to me with this idea so shouts out to you my beautiful mama for giving me this idea to show you all my record collection. For me music is like a big part of my life even though I can not sing. I cannot sing, but music is still a big part of my life. Um, majority, I dress like I'm from the 90s. That is just like, if you see. Yeah, it shows you that I dress just like I am from the 80s and 90s, but I love music from about the 60s up to like the thousands. So my inspiration really for music was my dad. He always told me that there's no such thing as bad music. There just might be a genre that you do not gravitate to. So you can never really say that, oh, this is terrible because it might be good to somebody else, but it just might not be for you. But for me, it was always old school R&B. was always my favorite type of genre of music. You cannot do no wrong with that. The harmonization was good. The meaning of music back then. We miss you. In this video, I am going to be telling you all every single album that I do have, which runs about, I want to say about 45 albums that I do have. So I'm going to try to make this quick, but I'm going to let you all know what I have collected. So with that, let's get into this video. So I was going to start with the first vinyl that I have collected and then work my way on to the most recent vinyl I had collected, but that was going to take a lot of time to organize. So I'm going to do with what I have on my wall and the first one I'm started with with just randomly putting up all the way down to the end to where I could not put up on my wall. So the first vinyl that I do have on my wall is Miss Anita Baker herself, Caught in a Rapture. I love me some Anita Baker oh her voice is so sultry so calming so it's deep for a woman but it's just like nice the R&B in it it's just amazing I love me some Anita Baker so that's the first one that I do have up on my wall the second one that I did recently receive from the record store is my own favorite J. Cole the K.O.D. album I remember exactly when I heard this album. It was the day after my sister's birthday. I was sitting at home and I was like, you know what, it just came out. I told her me and her are just going to sit and listen to the whole album. Masterpiece, it, it was amazing. This album, it was one of the most expensive ones that I did buy, understandable because it was newer school. More new school albums and vinyls gonna cost more than like an older school one, like the OJs because you really can't find it, which is kind of odd because you know, it should seem almost like like a one of a kind piece because you cannot find them anywhere. But it was one of the most expensive ones, but I didn't care. I still bought it. I love how it looks. That's why it's up on the wall. The next album that I do have is no other than Miss Gladys Knight and the Pips. I am shocked that I found this album because it is a great album. It has Midnight Train to Georgia on there, which is one of their, you know, most popular songs. I did find this in one of the old school um, record stores to where most of my albums were either in the old school record stores to where I can get them for like a dollar to seven dollars or the newer school record store to where I can get it from 15 to 30 dollars. So this one was in the oldest one to where it was only about seven bucks at the most. I was surprised it was in great 
great conditioner still. And when I saw it, I just, I just had to buy it. I love Gladys Knight. I just had to. So that one is on my wall as well. The next one that I do have is Frankie Beverly and Maze. This is, so it has Golden Time of the Day on it. I love that song. It's a great song to wear when it is the golden time or around five o'clock to where you just listen and just cruise to that one. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous album. So I had to buy it when I saw it. Again, it was in the older um, R&B, you know, record stores. Five dollars probably at the most. I had to get it. Another one that I had saw, which was crazy. I just listened to the song again and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get it. Whatever I find it. I love this song. It's again a nice old vibe type of 70s type of song and it is Rolls Royce. It has Love Don't Live Here anymore on it. And I had found this one again in the old school um, record store to where it was only a dollar. A dollar. Like I found it for a dollar in a dollar bin. I had to snatch it up, buy it, and put it on my wall. It's actually one of my favorite favorites. It's probably in the top five. Another one that I do have to where I had to buy it in a newer school record store was Lauren Hill, The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. Uh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I had to actually search for this one. This one was kind of difficult to find. I knew that whenever I find it, I don't care how much it is, I'm going to pay for it. Again, it was one of the most expensive ones because it's Lauryn Hill. It's her only album. So as soon as I did find it, I think it was the last one, I bought it. No questions asked. Another one I do have is from my all-time favorite group, favorite R&B group, which is the OJs. I have the OJs So Full of Love. Love that album. They harmonize amazing. My grandfather was a big, big, big fan of the OJs and I can see why. So when I started to listen more to it, I became a huge fan. Now every time I do see an OJs album, I have to have to buy it so of course it was a steal I got it from the old school record store and now it's on my wall and right next to that one I have Gap Band yes. I loves me some bands y'all loves me a good group so I do have the Gap Band it has outstanding on this vinyl um, of course, when I saw it, I had to buy it. I got it from the old school record store to where it was about like five to seven dollars again when I saw it but still, I had to buy. So that completed the first row. Now I am moving on to the second row. The first album that I do have on the second row is Miss Denise Williams. To where I have the album with Silly on it. Y'all, again, another still one dollar bin. I had saw it in one dollar bin and I was like, it cannot have the greatest song that she had did, which is Silly on there. And it was immediate still had to had to take it and put it on my wall I almost cried when I saw it the third album that I do have on the second row on my wall is none other listen to me people none other than Prince I have Prince the 1999 album on my how can that not be on my wall like how can I not be on my wall the crazy thing about it is I had found this album in the new record store it was only ten dollars ten dollars to where that is around the same price that I would find at the older record store to where I'm going to find like my OJ's Isaac Hayes things of that nature no and the newer record store that has maybe Beyonce lemonade or Kendrick yes only ten dollars that is definitely a steal like a rob that is a steal and I definitely took it and now it's on my wall and it's probably one of the best ones that I got so the fourth album that I do have on my wall on the second row is none other than Vivian Green it is emotional roller coaster it is a 12 inch vinyl to wear um, it didn't have a cover to it. It was just a regular red vinyl to where it just had her single on it. I had saw it. It was cheap. I loved that song. I actually saw her in concert. She was one of the first people I saw in concert to where I saw it. I had to buy it. It was a steal. And just the plain red on the back on my wall makes it look amazing. I had to take it. The next album that I do have is The DeBarge Family. I told you I love a group, okay? I love a group, a band, 
everything. So I have the DeBarge film, All This Love, to where it has the I Like It song, a big, big hit that they did have when they all came together as a group for the family, the siblings. And when I had saw it, it was very cheap. It was actually in plastic, so I knew it was in great condition. I saw it at the older record store. I had to take it, and now it's on my wall. The next one that I do have is actually still in the plastic. Like, I haven't opened it, I can't even touch the record, it's still in the plastic. Next to J. Cole's KOD, that one is still in the plastic, but this one is Cardi B's Invasion of Privacy album. It was actually a birthday gift from my parents, so they had actually got it from um, Urban Outfitters to where you can buy vinyls from there too. They are more expensive, but they have good ones. So. Urban Outfitters, I'm watching you. I'm coming after you. <laughs> but I had saw this when they had gave it to me for a gift and about cried. It was actually kind of heavy. It's thick material. I honestly want to look through it, but it's so, it's such in good condition that I don't want to open the plastic for it. But that one for sure is on my wall. The next one that I do have is another group, which is the Isley Brothers. They are a whole group, whole band, to where, of course, they sound amazing. Ron Isley, the family of the Isleys, y'all are great. To where, when I had saw this one, I actually accidentally got two. Um, they were both at different times, but when I had saw the other one, I was like, do I have this one or do I have another one? I don't care. I don't know. I'm going to buy it anyway, just in case. So I do have two of those. One of them is up. The other one, again, is still in um, a box where uh, other records are but that one is up that Isley Brothers album is the go for your guns album amazing it was a steal it was cheap at the older record store so when I had fished through and saw that it was Isley Brothers I did not care I bought it anyway and now it's on my wall and the last vinyl that I do have on the second row is the coolant and the gang yes y'all heard me it is their Love and Understand album. This one has Summer Breeze. Let's get into it. Um, For my black family out there, y'all know Summer Breeze is nothing but an instrumental, not a single word is being said not a lyric is done not anything changes to where you think that somebody is going to say anything it is just a beat just an instrumental it is a family reunion classic it is it's a life it is a Saturday morning cleanup anthem it is just something that runs through our blood to where when we hear it we just we just know we just know what it is we just know Moving on to the third row. So we are now on the third row and the first one that I do have on that row are The Temptations. So I have The Temptations Truly For You, which has Treat Her Like A Lady on it. That is for the ladies. That's how men, they're recording girls. They were, they were treating girls. That was the song for the girls, okay? And I love it, I love it, I love it. My mom used to sing it all the time. So when I had found the album, I had to buy it. It just reminds me of childhood. And now it's on the wall. Now, this, this album is probably a supreme album. Um, I paid $30 for this album because she is a major woman. She has done things. She is for the intellectual. And when I saw it, it looked like a portrait. I had to buy it. I had to, had to, had to buy it. I'm speaking about no other than Miss Tracy Morgan. It's Tracy Morgan. Tracy Morgan. This album has fast cars on it to where if you let people know or if you do say it, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, because it's such a classic. Her voice is so deep. It's so rich. It just reminds me of like coffee for some reason and it is beautiful so when I bought it 
I had to put it up on the wall. Now, the next one to where you can actually kind of see in frame is Miss Summer Walker herself. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, let me tell you. Now, with this album that she made, I listened to it 24 7. I listened to that album so much. I know she was probably tired of me playing it. I loved it. It changed the world almost like how Bryson Tiller's Trap Soul had changed the world. It's where I want to put on the wall as well. But it had changed the world. It changed people's lives. It changed music a little bit. I loved it. My sister had bought it for me for a birthday gift to where I put her on Summer Walker and she bought one for herself as well. Thank you, sis. She had bought it for me. I can't help but put it on the wall. That pink is, is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. The next one is the Commodores. Get into it, people. Get into it. Get into it. Get into it. The group. The group. The harmonization. They. Mm. Now, I originally got this album for the Zoom song. It just... It's not a sad song but if you listen to it is it is kind of but i love it i love the trumpets in it the horns in it are amazing it just feels like a a grandfather church group kind of singing to you but they're not talking about church but it's just really nice and when i saw it as well as it does have a signed autograph poster of them as well psh, i had to buy it it was completely a steal my next one is tony 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 I love me some Tony. Ooh, them. Mm, them, mm, them boys can sing, okay? Not sing. Not their singing. Them boys can sing, okay? They can sing. About with them three Tonys when they get together. They singing something. They singing something. And I appreciate what they be singing about. I love them. So this 12-inch single is for the song Whatever You Want. To where people were on craze about it because they did kind of switch up the song. I know like a guy had DJ'd it to where they switched up the song. It went crazy. But before then, I was a really, really big fan. Even though it's not the whole album like I wish it was, it was a single. Like it was something. And that's the only Tony 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 that I have. I had to take it. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. The next one, Miss Shaka Khan. I love me some Shaka. I love her hair. I love, mm. That's Auntie right there. And none other than the I Feel For You album. The I Feel For You album. I don't even have to explain. Moving on. Next I have Mr. Keith Murray himself. The album is called He's Keith Murray. Well, this album means something to me because of one song to where he called it Candy Bar. In the song Candy Bar, he is describing a beautiful black woman and how she always makes him feel and how it was when he first saw her. And I was like, I'm in love. Like, if I find a dude, like, I want him to be like this when he finds me. As well as he has a lyric, I love that little chocolate bar tatted on your shoulder. To where I said, you know what? When I get tattoos, because right now I'm a clean canvas, when I get tattoos, one of them is going to be a chocolate bar tattoo on my shoulder. And it's going to be amazing, all because of that one song. And since I loved it so much, I bought the vinyl. Next that you can see is, again, Miss Anita Baker. Yes, I have two of her albums. This is the Giving You the Best That I Got album from Miss Anita Baker. The reason why I had bought the album, as well as she looked so elegant in her cover she just looks so pretty so relaxed so cool so chill and i was like oh my gosh it'll be so nice up on the wall but i had to get that because of giving you the best that i got that song is just amazing her harmony is amazing her notes are just for it to be so deep it's just great it's just great so i had got it for maybe five dollars i want to say and now it's on the wall my last one that I do have on the third row is Jimmy Buffett. And the album is Son of a Sailor. Now, a lot of people are gonna be like, what? I thought you liked, you know, 80s, 90s music, maybe from the 60s on up. Like, what are you doing, Jimmy Buffett? Like, huh, what's going on? 
I love Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> His music is good. And this is the album that has Cheeseburger in Paradise. Now, again, my dad always said that there's no such thing as bad music. It just might be a genre you don't gravitate to, to where I kind of gravitate with all type of music. I think the only one that I'm having trouble with is heavy metal. Heavy metal is something for scream music is something that's like Ugh, with me but not saying it's bad i just have trouble getting into it but I, who knows i might find somebody that i like so with jimmy buffett to where he's kind of a country kind of guy i don't know i like it and because cheeseburger and pa cheeseburger in paradise is like one of his known songs how can i not put it on my wall moving on to the fourth row now that we're on the fourth row, I'm going to start with the first one to where, again, it is my good guy, J. Cole, to where I have the 2014 Forest Hill Drive album. So this album I had found at the newer record store to where it was about $20, $22 for. I did not care. I did not care because it was J. Cole. It was going to be my first album from him. And 2014 Forest Hill Drive was one of his best ones. Now, Born Sinner. That was good. That was good. For me, for 2014 Forest Hill Drive, it just caught something better for me. And I had got, as well as I do have another one. So I have two because my parents had got me one for my birthday as well to where I love, love, love. So it's in my box of other records too. The second one that I do have on the third row is the SOS band. Y'all, I told you, I love me a group. I love me a band. I love me that community of good harmony. I love me a a band and when I saw the S the SOS band to where this album has this album has take your time do it right the old school kind of like disco -y feel song it had that one and I had to take it it was only about five dollars but it was only five dollars that's SOS take your time do I had to so now it's on my wall the next one that you can actually see from the frame as well, again, is Miss Patty. Auntie Patty LaBelle, Miss Patty LaBelle herself. We love you, Auntie. Bring me a pie. So for that Be Yourself Patty LaBelle album, it has If You Ask Me To. Yes, the classic itself, If You Asked Me To. That's it next and then ironically right next to her only i didn't even realize until now because i was doing it for the color scheme that miss patty is right next to herself again miss patty labelle now for this album the patty labelle winter album i don't know a single song off this album like i do not know a single song off this album the only reason why i got it is because i got this album before i got this album and i didn't know i was ever going to get this one i said i need a patty labelle album no if ands or buts i don't care i don't care if everybody else knows the song and i don't know a single song i need a patty in my facility okay i need her in my possession i need some type of album of hers some vinyl of hers so i got this one and then later on probably a couple of months later that is when i found that one they were both cheap they were at the um cheaper record stores i want to say maybe 10 or so dollars went to them not um like 10 each next we have for our records is miss miss cheryl now about this album to where i'm kind of upset about is if you can see it's kind of damaged by her face um, I have probably put albums or these albums on a wall maybe three or so times um, during moving and things of that nature to where some of them did get a little damaged and I'm so upset about like I about cry but I'm so upset about to where hers did right in her face but it is Miss Cheryl to where this album has Saturday love on it you know the whole days of the week Saturday love Miss Cheryl herself of course big song big fan I had to get it put on my wall even though she is a little bit damaged a lot of damaged girls still come out and they still come out on the top period so that's why she is on there no if ands or buts about next album that i'm going to do i have to like my head is in it a little bit but this next album that i'm going to do is my all time favorite 
period my favorite song in the world won't change ever the sound the ending as they let it rock it is amazing mm. it's none other than bobby caldwell what you wouldn't do for love Let's talk about. First of all, let's talk about how good it sounds. How it mostly came out on, or it came on at late night radio, like probably coming home late night, Saturdays, good nine o'clock or something. It just has a good vibe to it. It has good instruments to it. It has good horns to it, to where he sounded so good that we didn't even know he was white. Yeah, I said it. We didn't even know till recently that he was and I loved him so much to where I searched for this one like searched for this one and I had found it for about like eight dollars I think I cried I have a video of when I found it and I almost cried y'all had to go up on the wall again it is damaged as well from moving but it's still going up on the wall period the next one that I do have is one that is a little bit more expensive that I have found. It was actually my first record that I bought that was more expensive, which was the Take Care album from Drake. His best album. Okay, yes, his best album that he ever did was Take Care, oh my goodness. And when I had saw it, it was about $20 or so, and I bought it. I did not care, I bought it. There isn't a song that you skip on that album at all. He could do another tour, same songs, right now, and I'll still act like I never heard it before. Kudos to you, Drake, because that album is gold. The last one that I do have on the third row to where you can see just a little bit is Miss Chalet. Yes, Miss Chalet, Miss Chalet, Miss Chalet. Amazing. Yes, she might have a high pitched voice regularly, but when she is singing, it is angelic. I love it. Her greatest, I believe it's her first album as well. It is very pretty. The only thing is while looking at it, at the bottom, I, I don't know why I always thought it was an ankle bracelet and I was okay with it. Like, growing up, I thought it was an ankle bracelet and I was okay with it being an ankle bracelet until I found out that it was a watch. Why am I more okay if it was an ankle bracelet than a watch? But, you know, hey honey, style back then, have at it. And now she's on my wall with the watch looking like an ankle bracelet. <laughs> So now we have made it to the last row for my last finals. So here's the first one. The first one that we do have on the row is Luther Vandross, Forever For Always For Love, to where it has the bad boy having a party song. Mm, mm, classic y'all, classic, classic, classic. I actually, out of all the people that I have on my wall, between Luther and I want to say around the OJs are the only ones that I have a lot of that kind of repeat. I love me some Luther. My mama raised me up on Luther. Like I love Luther Vandross. R.I.P. 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 My mom fell in love with him saying that he sounded so good. That he had a good deep voice. You know he could do the runs and everything. Girls were going crazy for him. He was very monumental at that time. So especially Bad Boys having a party. It is the opener for a house party. It gets the movie already starting. Like how, how do you do that? And it's only a quick clip but how do you do that so of course when i saw it i had to buy it it was only like seven dollars and now it's on my wall my next vinyl on my last row is cheryl lynn it's going to be all right now again on this album i really do not know too much really any songs on this album the reason why i did get this is because it's Cheryl Lynn. If you don't know, Cheryl Lynn originally had did the song with Luther Vandross, If This World Was Mine. She was the female lead in the song. Your voice is amazing. Like, your voice is amazing. And Beyonce did do 
great, 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 great job on the re um, remix, but for the original or the lovers that like the original as well, which is me, I had to get something of her because it's Cheryl Lynn. So I had bought it and now it is on my wall. It was kind of cheap. I want to say about five to seven dollars as well. A steal. And now she lives with me. <laughs> now, the third vinyl that we do have on the last row is this one to where you can see it's from a soundtrack of New Jack City to where I never seen that movie. To where it's from Color Me Bad and it's I Wanna Sex You Up. That song, it's just like a groove. It's just a groove to where they harmonize, to where it's uh, about, I wanna say five guys in a group and they all sound like good. They all sound good. I wanna say that this is their biggest hit that I heard their only hit that they had made. It's amazing, it's great. I couldn't find the whole um, album or vinyl of them. So when I saw the 12 inch, I was fine enough for it. It was a steal, it was like $3. The next one that is on the wall is another band. And again, it's the SOS band. And it has, tell me if you still care. Tell me if you still care. It, it gives me Saturday morning vibes again. That is, it, it gives me family reunion vibes. Yeah, the same as before. It just gives me the same vibes, the same feel. It makes you want to clean, it's just, the voice oh my gosh I keep saying the harmonization but it's like back then groups would harmonize that was their biggest thing let's sound like we are one person but we're not it was so good to hear everybody it, it's, it's hard to explain but it sounds like one person but you they all have different tones it's crazy but that song tell me if you still care it shows it a lot i saw it <laughs> cheat still on my wall the next one that you do see is again the isley brothers this is the showdown to um where you can see that the outfits back then i can put it up here too the outfits back then dazzle honey like jericho drip 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 it was just crazy but that's when they were younger they sounded amazing the songs that they have on this album are they have on this album is group the songs that they have on this album is groove with you it does sound like a car ride type of song to where you're just cruising you know just hitting a highway not really a dirt road but just a road where there's a bunch of trees and everything that is what the song gives you Groove With Me is amazing. I love that song. Again, of course, the harmony to where I saw it, $15 it was. I still bought it. And it was a great buy, honestly. The next on the wall is none other than Mr. Isaac Hayes. Yes, I have the Isaac Hayes To Be Continued album just alone for the song. The look of love is amazing. It's like I want to say a six could be more or less minute song, but the first minute alone is an instrumental and it just gives you, gosh, it gives you a 70s feel. It just reminds me of like orange carpet and just the 70s and just froze and just colors that stick out there. It's just really old funk kind of feeling that's what i want to say it's a real funk sound in the beginning but it's slowed down funk it's been featured in ashanti song rain on me as well as when he um nba young boy had took ashanti song to where she took from isaac hayes to where it's the look of love and remixed it in his song i am all i say i am i want to say that is it i could be wrong and it's just amazing like that beginning intro is just it's great. It's just great. Y'all, one moment. Sorry, y'all. Mom over here trying to burn up Sunday dinner. Like, uh-uh, honey, what's going on? What's going on? The next one that I do have on my wall is none other than LTD, Love, Tenderness, and Devotion, is what they were called. And it has the song Love Ballad on it. love ballad screams love it screams 
wedding. It screams love and tenderness. It's just a man speaking to his woman of how much he appreciate her and how much she has changed his life. And again, it is a group, a male group to where they all sound amazing. It's very hearty and in the throat and just very masculine, but very sweet as well. And I had saw them, they were about $5 to get. So it has their one of their greatest songs or the greatest song that they made on there, Love Ballad. No questions asked. As you can see, it's on the wall. Have, again, Luther Vandross. This is a Night for Love album to where it has one of his biggest hits, Wait for Love. That song is very sweet. It is very much a lesson in it, just letting you know that, hey, love comes and goes, you know, take your time with it, understand it, make sure if you really are feeling it before you do call it that. And his voice is amazing. He is a classic, like he is a goat. He had started off for a lot of people. I had to buy it. I'm trying to buy all of Luther's albums, honestly, to where this is another one of his. It was only about $5, a steal again, and now it's on my wall. And now, the last album that I have on my wall is Levert, the group, Casanova. So when I had saw this one, I know, of course, from the OJs that one of them is his son and he was an amazing singer as well, trying to be just like his father. So when I had saw this and knowing his song, I got it, of course. It is a 12 inch single and it's still in great, 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 great condition. I got this one for about $8 and now it is on my wall. And for the last album that could not be on my wall due to the damage before I even bought it is none other than Mr. Barry White. I do have the Barry White, Can't Get Enough of Your Love. The reason why I do have this one not on the wall is because you can see how bad the condition is. Again, it was like this before I bought it. I only got it for a dollar to where it looks like it is very water damaged. So if I ever do find a cover for it, I will cover it and then put it on the wall. But until then, I do have a special space that I do have for my repeated albums or again, ones that do have a little damage on it. Now this concludes my video of my record collection of how I have about 45 records and how much they were and which ones I do have. I do hope that you all enjoyed this video. Again, big shout out to my mama for giving me this idea. If you do want to see any more videos of me, then just comment below, like this video and subscribe to be a part of the family. Follow me on my social media. So then you'll be able to see when I'm going to be doing videos as well as I do do polls and questions to see for what you would like to see. So if you want to keep intact with that, then follow me on my social media, more importantly, my Instagram, but as well as I do have my Snapchat and my Twitter there. It's been so much fun. I did not realize how many really records I had until I put them up and then really explaining them, but it was a lot of fun and I will do another one, a continue one, when they do grow a little bit more, I will come back to that so again it's been so much fun i loved it so much and i will see y'all again love you mean it bye